This is NDTV. And you're watching Classics. Hello and welcome to Special Report. It takes more than just a coat of paint to erase the past. A month after the triple blast that shook the capital, tales of unexpected solidarity are emerging as individuals thrown together by the tragedy discover a newfound community. It has been described as the worst terrorist attack on the capital. On the 29th of October 2005, three blasts within minutes of each other killed 66 people and injured 224 others. The explosions created ripples not just in Delhi but also in Bihar, where most of those who worked at the Sarojinagar market come from. The impact was also felt in small towns in Uttar Pradesh like Aligarh, where people like Riyazuddin and his family are still struggling to deal with the blow fate dealt them. Riyazuddin, who works in Adhaba at the Aligarh Muslim University, earns about 100 rupees a day. He arrived in Delhi after hearing that his 18-year-old nephew Salim, who had come to the capital to shop for Eid, had died in the Sarojini Nagar blast. Riyazuddin landed up at the Savdajang Hospital mortuary where he identified a body he believed was his nephew's. But once he was handed over the body, he had an even tougher task. He had no money to bury his nephew. It was then that he met Jagmohan Singh, a builder with the charitable trust, who along with several others was working around the clock in the days following the blast, doing the best they could for families of victims. I was in Delhi in Delhi, my money was lost, he said, don't go away. जो आपके जो हमसे मदद हो सकेगी हम मदद करेंगे। उन बेचारों ने 600 रुपए मतलब मुझे दिए दफनाने के लिए तो मेरा पैसा खत्म हो चुका था और दूसरा गाड़ी भी उन बेचारों ने दी बॉडी को ले जाने के लिए। एक अलीगढ़ से एक मुस्लिम बॉडी आ गई तो हम तो हिंदू प्रवृत्ति में रहे हैं हमें जनाना आ तो वो कहता है जी हमें तो उसके कागज हो हम तो सत्रह सौ रुपए लेंगे ये लेंगे मैं कहा भाई साहब हमें इस बारे में पता नहीं है इस कड़ी में आप इस चीज को भूल जाओ हमें बीइंग ए हिंदू कल्चर में है आप मुस्लिम कल्चर में हमें बताइए हमें कैसा पकड़ना है तो लेकिन उन्होंने जो भी मदद नहीं कर सके तो हमने फिरोज शाह कोटला में हमने फोन किया उनको उन्होंने बोला कि हम चलो जी बम काट के हम छह सौ लेंगे तो उनके पास तो कुछ भी नहीं था तो हमने गाड़ी प्रोवाइड की उसको छह सौ दिया अपने लड़के भेजे जो कबर खोदने में उनकी मदद की Ironically, DNA tests and four weeks later, Riyazuddin was told that the body he had performed the last rites for was not that of his nephew, but that of a young boy from Bihar. We to Muslim and Hindu are also name We the Hindu other tales have emerged over the last four weeks. Virji, as he is called, continues to work silently. In the days following the blast, this van was his home. He went from site to site, hospital to hospital, along with his band of helpers. These were people who came forward in this dark hour to do work that no one else would. The hospital in Marthi has been given to them. After that, फिर एक्चुअल प्रॉब्लम स्टार्टेड के क्रिमेशन क्रिमेशन वी डिड इट फॉर ऑल देर वर 95 बॉडीज इन ऑल अभी भी 8-10 बॉडीज रोज हमारे पास आते हैं इन हॉस्पिटल से there are others who have been working tirelessly to make life easier for families of the blast victims. Ashok Randhava, who is part of the Shopkeepers Association at Sarojini Nagar, is one such person. What started off in a small way, sitting together for lunch in the park near the blast site, their way of remembering the people who lost their lives in the blast, to holding a community haven on the 13th day after the blast. Small acts signifying a shared experience, solidarity, shared pain have today taken on greater significance.
This man has had not too much time to mourn his son's death. Long after the condolences ebbed and people stopped asking how he felt, Ashok Randhawa stood by his side, becoming his family, offering support at a time when he needed it the most. Randhawa has been ensuring that people like him, who lost their sole breadwinner to the blasts, are getting their due compensation. It is an uphill task, filling forms, battling administration, going from pillar to post, especially when you're in a new city. कभी थाने जाते हैं हम लोग का यहाँ कहता है कि आपको कोई यहाँ ही नहीं रिपोर्ट नहीं आया है जब हम लोग आपको चेक देंगे और कभी थाना जाते हैं कभी डीएम को पास आते हैं और नेताजी है हम लोग के साथ आते जाते हैं बबलू भाई साहब आते जाते हैं तभी हम लोग आ सकते हैं ना तो हम लोग कहीं घूर नहीं सकते हैं बिहार का हम लोग है और हम लोग तो उतना जानकारियाँ नहीं कहाँ कहाँ क्या है नहीं है लोग को तो हम लोग का मालूम नहीं है सर जब मैं मार्केट पहुंचता हूं तो ये लोग सारे के सारे वहाँ खड़े हैं बेचारे वेट करते हैं अब एक जानवर भी घर में पालिए एक हफ्ते में तो उससे लगाव हो जाता है तो ये तो बेचारे मेरी सारा दिन के मैं आऊँगा तो फिर इनको लेके जाऊँगा एक ये ह्यूमन बीइंग समझ लीजिए या इंसानियत समझ लीजिए उस लिए मैं लगा हुआ हूँ Looking ahead, a group of youngsters at Sarojini Market who lost friends, relatives and loved ones in the blast have come together. They are intent on ensuring that history does not repeat itself.